Hey folks, hopefully you've come here to try and find a solution as to why Manager IO will not run. Manager IO is an accounting software package that I use and it runs on various uh, computer systems, uh, Windows, Mac, Linux, it also runs in a server. So I'm running the desktop version on Linux. Um, if you run Manager, and you run Linux and you just can't get the thing to run then uh, you may have come to the right place here so um, um, for quite a few hours yesterday and today I've been buggering around with this computer system trying to get everything um, going again I've updated the operating system to the latest Kubuntu version um, I'll just bring that up so that you're aware of what I'm running here uh, so here it is here there's the com the hardware here it's an i5 it's pretty old this computer um, and Kubuntu was 22.04. Yesterday it was 20.04, something like that. So I finally got everything um, going to how I like it, except Manager is not running. I've found the solution and I thought I'd document it in the form of a video. Um, I'll quickly show you the actual computer that I've got, just a sort of an image. It's what they call a NUC. Yeah, it looks something like this. Mine is... Um, very much like this one here. So, so let's go to the website where the accounting software is. Here it is here. Did I say it's out of Australia? So I'm running the free desktop version. There's a server version and cloud edition and whatnot. So the desktop version is completely free to use for businesses. So we'll go here to download. I've actually already downloaded it. It's running on Linux. If I click free download there, we'll get this pop up, which will show me where I would like it to be downloaded. Now I've downloaded it in this folder here, App Images, and then another I've created another folder called Manager IO, and I've put it there. So App Image is kind of like a bundled up version of a distribution. Instead of having many many files sprinkled all over the place, they've contained it in an App Image. So I've downloaded it to there now if I go there now and I'll try to run it you'll see that it'll fail here we go so that's the error that I'm getting and um, if we study this here we can see this text here. Um, I can't highlight that. Lib webkit, blah blah blah. So that's the problem there. What we've got to do is get this installed right where my mouse is. So to do that, we we'll go to our start menu here in Kubuntu. We'll just type in uh, package. So this we want to run this here, the package manager. there it is there now we want to try and search for this I can't highlight that unfortunately so let's just type it here bit by bit lib lib web kit we might see it pop up uh, to uh, gtk can we see it there it's got a 37 on the end there so if we click that there, 
Now if we come down here, follow my mouse, mark for inst installation, so we click that. So we've really just marked it for installation, we haven't actually installed it. Once we've got that marked for installation, then we've got to come up to here and click apply changes. Now it's going to prompt me for my password. Uh, I'll just enter my password and we'll see a bit of activity going on. And that's it. We've got to see this is installed. So we can close that now. Let's close this error screen. So once we've run that, we should be able to double click this and with a bit of luck, our application will be running again. And there you have it. Now because it's the first time it's run, I've got to reload all my data back in. So I'm just going to click here, add business, import business, choose the file, and um, they're already there. I'll just, just so you know what I'm doing, I'll just do that again. So we'll go look for our business file. Uh, there. Counting. There's my app data is in here. So I've got three of them here. This one here is a test. Let's do the test one. Open. Import. And I'll just quickly go in there. So there you have it. So I've got three businesses set up in here. I'll just quickly add the other two. And the last one. Bingo. And that's it. Good luck with that, folks.